So let's take a look at these rather weird systems. We've seen a lot of examples of independent systems, systems that have one and only one solution. Just look at the past example videos in this section. They're all independent. We always come down with x equals one number and y equals another number. So I'm going to be focusing on the kind of more exceptional cases, the inconsistent or no solution and dependent or infinitely many solutions. So let's look at 22. where we have the first equation being 3x minus y equals 2 and the second equation being 9x minus 3y equals 6. Now it doesn't matter which method you use, it's a matter of preference and Sometimes it amounts to what do you think is the easier one to use, or which are you most comfortable using in solving these types of problems. I'll try to mix it up a bit, um, but I, when there's a clear, easy answer, I'll stick with that. In this case, I'm going to use uh, substitution, and I'm going to solve equation 1 for y. So to do that I'm going to have to add y to both sides and then subtract 2. So this is my new equation and the one I didn't use I'll use now in step two. So I now have y in terms of x. That'll allow me to get an equation that just involves x's. There'll be no y's in sight doing this substitution. And I know how to solve equations like this when they just have x's in them. So I've boiled this down to a problem I know how to solve. So let's see, 9x minus 9x is 0x. Those cancel. And so I'm left with 6 equals 6. Well, yeah, no kidding. Ask a second grader. They know that. When you come down to a clearly true statement, what you have is a dependent system. And you write out the solutions as being you know, on a line that the solutions to this system are as follows you can let x be whatever it is you like so long as y is three times that chosen value of x minus two this is a perfectly acceptable way of writing the answer the way the book is going to write the answer is in this rather awkward notation saying the collection of points where X is whatever you damn well please and Y is three times your chosen value of X minus two that's how you're supposed to read this but really this is perfectly acceptable. Let's take a look at, at another dependent system. So I'm looking at 40, or excuse me, 30, 
where the first equation is 4x plus 7y equals 10 and then 10x plus 35 over 2y equals 25. Well, in this case, you know, substitution does not look like it's going to be the choice. But the thing is, is that to write out the answer for systems of equations, especially to write out the answer the way the book wants it done, you kind of have to have a substitution. You have to have, you know, y in terms of x or x in terms of y. So since I know it's dependent, I'm going to choose substitution. If you actually know, correct that. I'm going to do it with elimination because I can't assume you have the prescient knowledge that I do. You're taking the class, not teaching it. So let's boil it down to a case that you might li be likely to do. So elimination. I'm preferring elimination over substitution in this case. Uh, ooh, fractions. Fractions are ugly. 10 and 4. What do 10 and 4 divide into? 20. 5 times 4 is 20, and 2 times 10 is 20. So let's eliminate x, because x doesn't have any ugly fractions attached. So we'll take, let's say, now the signs are the same on the equation. The signs on x's are the same in the equations. So I'm going to have to change them around when I'm multiplying here. 5 times 4 will give me 20, and 2 times 10 will give me 20, but in order to eliminate x, one of these 20s has to be negative, and it really doesn't matter which one is. So I'll just pick the bottom one. So I'm multiplying equation 2 by minus 2. Doing that gets me a minus 35 y and minus 2 times 25 is minus 50. Then let's take a look at 5 times equation 1. We already did the x. 5 times 75, 5 times 7 is 35 and 5 times 10 is 50. And we end up with nothing, nothing, wow, big fat 0 on the left and 0 on the right. And again, Heck, any second grader can tell you 0 equals 0. And if I can write, an obviously true statement means a dependent system. So you're free to choose one of the variables, but once you choose one of the variables, you are fixed in your other choice because you still have to remain on the line. Because remember, these two things are lines. They just happen to be the same line, lying on top of one another. So to find out what that line is, let's solve for y in one of these equations, which is why I wanted to do substitution originally. So if we solve, let's say, 1 for y, you could solve for x. It doesn't really matter, but we're more familiar solving for y, so why not? It doesn't really make a difference in this case. So I'm going to have to subtract 4x from both sides. 7y equals minus 4x plus 10. And then dividing everything by 7, I get minus 4 sevenths x plus 10 over 7. So my solution is that you're free to choose you know, is a, and I should write it because that's code. X is free. That's special math code. 
Let's write it so you'll understand it a bit better. X is whatever you choose it to be. But Y has to be this in terms of whatever your choice was for X. So this video is running long enough, so we'll split this up into two with dependent systems being in one video and then inconsistent, those with no solution, being in the next.